I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss and your personal hairline hero. So if you know me at all, you know that I do not want to see a photo of you. I do not want to look at your hair and predict if you're gonna go bald based on that because I don't care about that. And it's not how you find out if you're gonna go bald. You watch the video below, there's a link. There's five questions you should actually ask yourself, not simply looking at your hairline now. It's those five questions that actually matter. What's interesting is after you find out what the five things are, after you watch that video, you will ultimately find yourself in a position as I am, where I'm asking myself this question, do I ultimately believe in hair loss destiny? Am I being fatalistic? In other words, ultimately, is it already determined how much hair you're going to keep? Something I always talk about, and it's in the video that talks about the five things, that ultimately, how much hair you still naturally have by age 35 is for the most part how much hair you'll carry with you for the most of the rest of your life. So ultimately, people ask all the wrong questions all the time. They say, Nick, if I do this and this and this, will I lose my hair? Will this cause me to lose my hair? And the answer is no, you can't force yourself to go bald. But Nick, I'm so stressed out. I'm stressed out that I might go bald. No, stress itself leading to baldness, that's not male pattern baldness. That's something completely different. Stress can induce a lot of things, but that's not what causes male pattern baldness. Guys you see that have no hair on top, it's not because of stress. It's because of male pattern baldness that you were either born with or you were not. It's very easy to predict based on the five things that I mentioned in the video. So what I believe, ultimately, summarizing the five things that you'll see in the video, what I am here to say is ultimately, it's already determined the moment you're born how much hair you're gonna have by your 35th birthday. And that's something that's very important to embrace. There's nothing you can do to speed that up and anything you do to slow it down is ultimately artificial, superficial, and temporary, not self-sustaining. However much hair you naturally have on your 35th birthday is for the most part how much hair you're gonna have the rest of your life, and it's already determined in your DNA. So go ahead and watch that video to learn more about hair loss destiny.